Hey, this is Shelly Hall with Get Creative. I'm bringing you a very special edition of our newscast to talk about the new OS 10.5 Leopard from Apple Computer. I picked it up Friday night at the Apple Store in Chicago and we're going to talk about my experiences with install, with some of the apps I really like, ones I'm not too happy about, and some of the issues that have been coming up associated with an install. So we're going to head over and you're going to see the rest of this from my desktop. So enjoy and hope you get some useful information out of this. Okay, so here we are in Leopard, Mac OS 10.5. The first thing we're going to do is take a look at the Finder. One of the very cool new features in the Finder is to be able to view your files in what they call CoverFlow. CoverFlow lets you see your movies, presentations, PDF files, and a lot more in large size previews as you flip through them. So this is the icon to select CoverFlow, and all you have to do if you've got a movie or an image, you just simply have to roll your icon on top of the movie and it actually begins to play. Okay? And you can drag the slider to thumb through various documents, images, projects that are on your desktop. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, so let's take a look at our sidebar over here. The sidebar, of course, makes it really easy to get to various folders, shared computers, and your network. Shared computers display over here in the shared column, and commonly used searches are listed here in the sidebar from today, yesterday, the past week. This lists all images in your computer and on your network volume, all movies, and all documents. And of course, Spotlight is built right into the menu bar and you can search for items on your computer. Okay, as far as shared computers, shared computers will automatically appear over here in the sidebar and you have this really neat feature called screen sharing. So I've selected the computer that I want and I am going to select share screen and actually here it is this is my other computer that I have open in my shared network and I can actually access the file so I've got a file here open on the desktop it's actually Illustrator and uh, it's got iChat open over there too, but I want to access this Illustrator file and I want to actually apply a gradient fill to this image. Looks good. Now I'm going to do a quick little save and uh, that's okay. So now I've actually been working on my other computer. Pretty cool stuff. So I'm going to select screen sharing and quit out of screen sharing and it comes back to my computer. So that is a really cool thing to do. You can share your files, your website, your screen and much more with other computers. Okay, so that is the new finder. Let's take a look at the desktop quickly. <gasps> Down at the dock, look at this. This looks pretty fancy, but it looks like it's lacking in applications. Interesting. I have pulled a lot of applications in there. Generally, there's at least 30 applications on my computer that are running across the bottom, which makes my dock kind of hard to manage and control. Well, with a brand new feature that is in OS 10.5 called Stacks, you have the ability to kind of group your applications in a folder and have them launch as you need to. And you also have stacks for downloads. Let me just click on this download stack. And it shows the last documents that I've downloaded. And it tells me besides the seven that are visible here, there are 17 more in the finder. So if I click on the finder icon, it just takes me to those other 17 documents that have been recently downloaded. As far as my little application stacks, this is easier said than done because the concept of it is really great. Okay, I'm just going to have an applications folder on my dock. That's not exactly how it works. I've created application stacks for productivity and web, so productivity I click and I've got my address book, bridge, calculator, FileMaker Pro, etc., etc. So these are applications that I use for um, just current everyday kind of tasks. And if you click on this down arrow, it collapses them back down. Now as far as tools that I use for some of my web projects, if I click on web, 
it expands this dock. And what's really nice is I can select any of these elements, just click on them, and they will launch. The one thing that I do not like about Stacks and being able to store my applications this way is in previous versions of the OS, I could simply drag a document onto one of these icons in my dock and it would actually launch the icon. It doesn't do that anymore, not from Stacks. It does it from your regular applications that are in your dock. What you would actually have to do is launch the application or have it actually be running to be active in your dock bar. Okay, and just collapse those down. And this is just my folder. This is my Shelly folder. And I, this automatically expands as a grid. Whenever there are more than seven elements, it automatically expands as a grid. You can set it automatic for fan or grid or automatic. And it actually recognizes when you have too many elements for a fan. So I'm going to collapse this back down. Now, how did I go about doing this? Putting these icons in the dock like this? Well, I have a group of icons already set up. I'm just going to drag over here onto my desktop. And I've created a folder called Creative. And these are aliases of the creative applications that I use on a regular basis to work on my project. So I'm going to grab these aliases and drag them in this Creative folder. Now I'm going to drag this Creative folder and just put it in my dock. Now if you look in your dock, on the left side of your screen are active applications. On the right side is where you can put your what they call stacks. So now I've dropped my creative stack in here. Let me drag the alias off. Now if I open up my creative stack, these are my creative applications that open up. Same type of thing, and it's that simple to do. There really is an explanation how to go ahead and make application stacks, but that's how you do it. You create aliases, put them in a folder, and drag that folder right into your dock. And you can actually delete the original folder that contained the aliases, because these will link to the original applications. Okay, so that is stacks.